Hello guys, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Lightning Web Component series. If you want to watch other videos of LWC or any other concept in Salesforce, do visit the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about communication between components which are not within the same DOM tree using publisher subscriber pattern in LWC. Okay. So suppose I have two components. First is a pub component and second is a sub component. In the pub component, this pub component is a component from where I want to fire an event, okay, uh, on certain button click or something like that. And sub component is a component where I want to handle this event, okay, the event fired by the pub component. So for this, first thing we need to do is we need to include a JavaScript file named pubsub in your LWC directory. So it is nothing but a shared JavaScript file which your two components will be using to communicate between themselves. Okay. So we'll go to VS Code and create two components first. We'll close these components. Okay. Using Control Shift P, I'll create another Lightning component. I'll name it as pub component, okay? And place it in the current directory. I'll create another component. Name it as sub component. Place it in the same directory. Okay, so these are the two components between which we need to communicate. So for this, we'll include a JavaScript file. For creating a JavaScript file, what I'll do is, I'll just create a lightning web component, name it as pubsub, place it in the same directory, and I'll delete the HTML part of this, okay? So I'll delete the HTML file inside this pubsub folder. Now we'll get the content of pubsub JavaScript file and put it inside our JavaScript file, okay? So we'll copy this and put it inside our JavaScript library. We'll discuss the content of this pubsub JavaScript library. So there are basically four important methods present over here. So if you go down, you can see the fire event method okay so this fire event method is used by the component which is supposed to fire the event okay and the parameter would be the page reference of a, a component which is firing the event uh, the name given to the event and whatever data the component need to pass along with the event okay next method would be uh, the register listener so this register listener method would be used by the component which is handling the event okay and the parameter would be uh, the event name which will be same as the name given earlier to the event and the callback method this callback method would be any method inside the handling component uh, which will handle the event okay and perform certain operations next method is uh, unregister listener method so this method is called by the handling component only uh, when the component needs to unregister to the listener which uh, it has already subscribed earlier okay and also there is one more method uh, unregister all listener method so this method uh, what it does is it removes all the listeners from the current component okay so any listener which component has already uh, registered to so it will unregister them fine so this is nothing but our javascript library of pubsub and uh, our uh, components will be using this library to communicate between them okay and why other components can access this method because if you can see at the end we have export these methods okay so because of this the other component can access this javascript libraries methods fine we'll go to the ppt yeah so uh we have added a JavaScript library pubsub in our LWC directory. We have created two components. Next thing would be uh, the component from where we need to fire the event. We need to include these things. Okay. So first thing is the we are, we need to import the current page reference from Lightning Navigation Library. Fine. So what this current page reference refers to? It will refer to the current page reference. That means it will. Uh, be containing the URL of our current page fine and next is import fire event from c slash pubsub why 
because in the PubSub library we have this fire event method and we have exported this method so our component can import this method from this uh, JavaScript library okay so I'll go to the component publisher here on the HTML part I'll add one button so that we can see what is happening on the click off button Okay. The JavaScript will define this method. Now before that I need to use these import statements. Okay. I'll just copy from PPT. Now it's giving me error because I haven't used it. We have declared this property or method, but we are not using it right now. Fine. Now I'll we'll declare the property which will be holding the value of a page reference. Okay. So, sorry. Okay. Now it's giving me error unsupported at the red wire decorator. Why? Because I have not imported this. So I need to use at the red wire over here. Further, we'll require at the red track also. So we'll use them. Next is we need to fire the event. Okay. So inside this function, Also along with the event we need to pass parameter so we will declare a parameter over here. We will use a javascript format. Sorry a json format. Okay. Next we'll use the fire event method which we have imported from our pub sub library. Okay. So what are the parameters to this event? First would be the page reference of this component. So page reference we have stored in a page reference parameter. So this would be the first parameter. Second parameter would be uh, event name right so we can give pub sub event okay and the third parameter would be the uh, the payload or the parameter which we are passing along with the event so we'll use this and we'll save our file okay yeah, so it's giving me error page reference is not defined because I have not used this dot page reference. It has to be this dot page reference. Okay. Now in the subscriber component, what we need to do is 
first yeah we'll go to ppt so in the subscriber component we need to uh, import these things uh, register listener unregister listener methods from our javascript library why because this component needs to use this method to register to the events fine so we'll go to our component and import register listeners and unregister listener method from our javascript library file from c slash pubs up okay register listeners and register all listeners okay now uh, in the connected callback i need to register to a particular event right so using the register listener method i'll register to the event which i had already fired here right register listener and the parameter to this is event name uh, what is the name of our event yeah, pub sub event sorry then a callback function where i'll be handling this event and then this okay also in the disconnected callback i need to unregister this particular event So I'll call unregister listener method, and I'll pass this parameter to this. Okay. So what is connected callback? Uh, the connected callback is a method uh, which is fired when particular component gets inserted in the DOM. Okay. So when a component gets loaded, uh, or suppose we put this component inside an application, and when we are previewing application, the com component get loaded into the browser right so when this component will be inserted into dom this connected callback gets called right and this disconnected callback will be called when the components is removed from the dom element right okay next is we need to define this callback method okay We'll take a parameter, suppose detail. Now this callback method will be executed when uh, the event is fired from the publisher component and then handled over here, right? So we'll put on an alert so that we can verify things are working correctly or not. Detail dot first name right apart from this i also need to include the page reference parameter over here right so we need to import a wire then i need to import current page reference also yeah this only And then we'll declare it over here. Fine. Now, since we need to demo this into a Salesforce org, so we need to add targets in our configuration files, right? So I'll make this is exposed parameter as true. Add targets. Okay. 
lightning record page lightning app page and lightning home page okay we'll save this also add the target in publisher component and we'll make this parameter as true let's deploy our changes to salesforce org Deploy source to org fail. Why? Because okay. So here it is target. Oh, it has to be targets. Closing tag, right? Similarly over here. It has to be a closing tag. Let's deploy it again. Okay, so code has been deployed successfully. We'll go to our home page. We'll edit this so that we can add our components over here, right? Now in the custom custom components, you can see our components are visible over here, right? So we'll add the publisher component over here. We'll add the subscriber component over here. Okay. Since there's nothing inside the HTML part of a subscriber component, there's nothing visible over here. Fine. So we'll save the changes and go back to our home page. See the button is available, right? So if I click on this button, you can see the alert coming over here and also the parameter value first name, right? So this alert is nothing but this alert, right? And we are getting a parameter from publisher component, right? So this is how we can communicate between two unrelated components or two components which are not present in the same DOM tree, right? Do let me know your suggestions and views in the comment section. Also subscribe to our channel for more videos on Lightning Web Component. Thank you.